Hello, this is the Provoked Prawn, and this is the Neato BotVac Connected D6, an intelligent robot vacuum cleaner from Neato that's a pleasure to have around. This is an unboxing video and review to tell you about what it's like to have in the house, what is included in the box, all the highlights and features, and things of interest. Also, I will be comparing it to the D4, which I've had in recently, and other robot vacuum cleaners which I've tested. I'm happy to report that this is a fairly decent robot vacuum cleaner, which cleans for quite a long time. It also has a number of interesting features that include a flat-fronted D-shaped design, which allows it to get right up to the edge, a combo brush, which means it can work on carpet and hard floor and do a good job on both, intelligent automated uh, multi-floor mapping which means it basically intelligently maps your home with radars and sensors as it goes around and is capable of multiple floor mapping which means that you can if you can afford to buy another charging dock have one upstairs one downstairs and move the robot between floors and it will still be able to function and have an intelligent view of what those floors are like so that it can make its way around the house without getting stuck Happy to report that this robot vacuum cleaner is actually very good at doing that as well. It works at getting around the house quite neatly and without getting stuck and without much interference. It manages to clean the house and then go back to its dock without much fuss, uh, which is exactly what you want for a robot vacuum cleaner. It also is capable of cleaning for up to 150 minutes and of quick boost charging, which means it goes back and docks whenever it feels the need. Realistically, in a medium sized house or a decent sized house you probably won't need it to do that um, I found it probably was around 20 to 40 minutes cleaning depending on how much space it was cleaning and how dirty the place was and whether I sent it out again or not um, but as I said up to 120 minutes and it takes 150 minutes to charge but it will dock for a boost of charge if it needs to so I suppose in theory if you used it downstairs and then you moved it upstairs you could then get a boost of charge if it needed to this included in the box is also this magnetic strip which you can cut into strips and put outside rooms and block particular rooms it also features as you've seen in the box the little white brush there which acts as a cutting and cleaning brush which you can use to keep the main brush clean which is also a very good tool to have I've seen something similar with the Robo Rock, which I reviewed recently. Um, that has a little blade on it. And it's very handy because it allows you to cut hair and fibres off the combo brush and clean successfully to keep that robot vacuum cleaner clean so it can then make its way around the house. The other highlight here is it does include two uh, air filters. So you get one that's included in the robot and then a spare one, which is always handy to have. Uh, downside is you cannot wash them. They do need to be replaced. However, on the D4, I found that those filters got clogged up with dust quite a lot and were a bit difficult to clean. These ones on the D6 include a slightly different design, which makes them more appealing and they don't get as dirty as easily. It doesn't get clogged up with dirt and dust quite as easily, which is a very nice touch. Otherwise, the D6 basically looks like roughly the same design. Uh, the D4 has a bit of a knobbled surface to it, it looks like carbon fiber, but this one doesn't, uh, but it is black. It does have a similar combo brush, and it also has this small side brush, which uh, is obviously meant to knock extra dirt into the path of the vacuum as it goes around. That isn't something that was present on the D4, so there are little changes like that which make this a slightly more impressive robot vacuum cleaner over the D D4. There aren't a great deal. Just to demonstrate the brush here, you can see this little brush has stiff bristles on it which allow you to get out any dust or dirt that's get built up in the brush itself. And as I said, it's got the cutting blade on there as well, so you can cut off any hairs or fibres or bits of string or other random things that get caught in there. Another highlight here is you'll see the brush guards, so you can see the plastic loops that go over the top of this um, brush shield here. But that I found works really well because it nicely stops any ob objects, large objects like kids' toys or bits of clothing that have been left strewn around. It stops those getting sucked up into the robot vacuum cleaner and blocking it, which is pretty important in a robot vacuum cleaner design, and it also works really well. You also note here the D6 contains the same sort of triangular shaped dust container as the D4 which doesn't hold on to a great deal of dust and dirt, but then the robot vacuum cleaners don't generally pick up loads, and you probably need to empty them daily or bi-daily anyway, so it's not really a big concern. 
Now, as I said before, the D6 has an intelligent mapping system that works inside the app. So it basically maps out your home as it goes around, especially on the first clean. And it will go around the house, working out what the house is like. And then it uses that map, stores it, and then it knows when it goes out in the future what the house is like and where the obstacles are and what to avoid. But it also has a number of sensors in it that obviously include drop sensors to stop it falling downstairs and other sensors to stop it bumping into things and knocking stuff over. You can also change the settings within the app to make it go around the house a bit more gently. So if you're worried about bashing into vases or precious items and knocking them over, that's another option. It also has two cleaning modes um, in terms of power. You can see it in action here as it's going around cleaning, cleaning up the house. As I said, the combo brush includes these rubber blades and the standard bristles of a normal brush, which basically means that it can work well on hard floors and, hard, and flat surfaces as well as it does on carpet. The filter in this one is an ultra performance allergy filter, which means that it basically picks up a lot of dust and dirt and does a good job in doing so. We found uh, I was regularly emptying this robot vacuum cleaner, uh, which is always a good testament to how much it picks up. It connects within the app to the Wi-Fi, but it also works with uh, Amazon Echo devices, Google Home, and your Apple Watch if you happen to have one, which I do not, but it apparently does work with that. I have tested it with Alexa and Google Home, though, which I do have, and I can report that you can send the robot out for a clean. You can ask it to stop cleaning should you happen to be on the phone. Um, you can work out, you find out how much charge it's got left, and you can send it back to its dock and things like that. There's also compatibility with if this then that, so you can create recipes to do clever things like setting the robot to pause if you've got an incoming phone call, and you can use Facebook chatbot messenger to talk to it until it's top as well, which is a bit random. Um, do find, like the D4, this robot vacuum cleaner can get a bit blowy as it goes round. It's quite loud. It's not very subtle and it also blows air out the back as it passes by. So if you're in the house at the time, you do get a bit of a gust of wind as it goes by, which can be a bit of an annoyance, but this is a very small point. Um, and inside the app, it also features no-go lines, so you can virtually mark where you want it to avoid cleaning. So you can block doorways to kids' bedrooms, for example, if it's very messy in there. Uh, it does only feature an automatic cleaning mode and spot cleaning. Uh, automatic cleans the whole house. The spot clean is a bit more tricky. With other robot vacuum cleaners with an interactive map, I've seen where you can put a marker down on a map and tell the robot to go to that specific point and clean. With this one, you can't do that. Bit odd. You have to pick it up, take it to that place, and then turn it on. And then it will do that spot until it's finished. Um, so that's a minor annoyance. Honestly, I found that it did a good enough clean that you just send it out for an auto clean. And if you had another spot that needed cleaning, you can just send it out for another clean. It's, it's not too much of a problem. You can do daily scheduling within the app, which is obviously a very good use of these robot vacuum cleaners. Get it to go out on a daily basis and clean. You cannot get it out to go out multiple times a day, though. Only once a day, but then you can send it out manually if you want it to go around extra. So all in all, this is not a bad robot vacuum cleaner. It does a very good job of cleaning and it has a lot of different features and it gets right up to the edge.